Well, you know, this fighter, as he makes the walk tonight, is going to be looking to lean on the speed and the footwork in this particular matchup. Got to keep the hands high, right? You got to stick and move and get the head off the center line, given the power that's coming back. But I'm just not sure that the opponent can match the quickness. Exceptionally fast on the feet. Very good at using angles to set up his offensive attacks and very sound defensively as well. So has the reach advantage, figures to be able to use it here tonight. This is one slick striker with which to contend. of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen, and he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and in out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find him. He's a sniper. The jab always with the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never on the center line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Ex-Murderer, Wanderlei Silva! All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. Let's do it. So, Vanderlei Silva back in the octagon here tonight. A lot of fans supporting the building as usual. And let's see how early on he chooses to attack here. At times, we've seen Vanderlei wait to see what the opponent is giving him. Most expect he will move forward and try to land haymakers here early tonight. Nice entry there and able to finish. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. Checks the leg kick. Connects with a beautiful jab. Oh, so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming by. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Frantic pace early on to this one. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Just out of range with that right hook. Straight right is there. Well, as usual, this outstanding striker has come out aggressively tonight, almost as if he's double-parked outside. 
Dude's trying to get the job done and get it done quickly. But he doesn't waste any action. Everything is so tight and crisp. That's why he lands, he lands, and he can be so aggressive. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Beautiful punch lands. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to him. That punch, no good. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, tags it with the straight. Nice job there by Vanderlei. So left eye starting to shut a little bit. That bear's watching. Able to check that kick as well. Big shot lands for both guys. Right hand counter. What a tricky head kick. Straight right hand, no good. Under 90 seconds to go round one. Overhand left, swing and a miss. And just misses with that big right hand. And immediately gets the underhook. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. Well, I'm not sure if there's a facial fracture of some kind, but the striking approach has certainly worked tonight. And his opponent is hurting the He's hurting really bad right now. Every single time a shot lands up top, you can see the damage that it's inflicting. The, the, the work that he has done has been masterful. And now he has his opponent very limited because he can't take many shots to the head. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Silva's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, big old. First round winding down here. Right. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, he's done a real good job attacking that cut above the eye, and here is your visual proof. I mean, John, just devastating. These blows were amazing. He was able to land at will, and he opened up a nasty cut over the eye of his opponent. Now he's got to target it, and every time he lands, that blood will start to pour down into the eye, making it real hard to fight. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Oh! 
great punch. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover and got hurt again. He's got to move. You're going to stop this fight if he doesn't move. Finish him. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dog. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Oh, back and forth we go. Under three minutes now to go in the round. So he... Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish them. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess, I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Hey, you don't play shut at this point in time, and I'm not sure there's any end swell in the building that's going to open that eye back up. They might stop this fight. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Good jab. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, big punch land. Silva's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse, and you see the... Oh! Oh! Back to his feet. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Under a minute to go. Silva's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Good body shot he landed there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Nice punch lands. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Silva's cut on his nose does not look good. Actually, it looks really bad. You gotta think the ringside position is gonna get called in here in a moment. Stop. All right, somewhat mercifully, that is the end of the round. The swelling around his eye is out of control. Cut man hustling in quickly, but I think they might stop this fight, DC. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Ready to fight. Ready. Third round underway. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are types of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the opponent for all the action. 
All right, so when is too much too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage here tonight. Oh! Gets back to his team. Nice job blocking that shot. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Wow, huge head kick. Another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Superman punch now. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Silva's a bloody mess right now. I wouldn't be surprised to see this fight stop. At the very least, you gotta think they're calling in the ringside position between rounds. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great... He has to evade Stan's face. Oh, with authority, the body. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, wow. Oh, big diving punch lands up top. You cannot sit in this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Oh, do it! Holy smokes! What a result in Rio, a stunner! Holy! Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 33 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the cooler. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.